Ground bridge controls set to your requested coordinates, Lieutenant Bumblebee. Thank you, Fix-It. Time to move out for stop number 41 on Bumblebee's Titanic tour of Earth. Oh, how I wish I could go with you. You visited so many amazing places. Uh, waterfalls, pyramids, that adorable tilted building in the land humans call Italy. You've missed exactly Zots, Fix-It. Since we took down Decepticon Island, we've just been looking at stuff. Most of it old. Hey, old stuff can be important, and history is interesting. Yeah, history. When everything was slow. Like Strongarm. Ow! How's that for slow, punk? This tour stop is special, team. I think you're really gonna get a kick out of it. We get to kick something? No, we just... You, all right, just come on. Of all the tour stops you've taken us to, no question, this is the worst. You have teleported us to a human military base? No, oh, we'll be discovered any minute. Lieutenant, you have blown our cover on Earth. Fix it, the lieutenant has compromised our cover. Open a ground bridge portal and bring us back. Belay that fix it. Everything is fine here. Out. Just relax, Autobots. What do you notice about this place? There's a concentrated layer of atmospheric particles on all of the furniture in here, as though none of it has been used in an extended period of time. Dusty. Right. What else? Um, whoever used this place had terrible taste in really old furniture? There is nothing but old furniture here. It has been stripped of personal items and any equipment of value. In other words, I think this place was abandoned. It's abandoned now. All right, let's scan that Jeep for some desert camouflage, just in case. What about me? Grimlock, if anyone asks, you're a big green metal robot from outer space that can turn into a dinosaur. Gotcha! Go back and remember that. <laughs> Sir, are we where I think we are? Yeah, in the middle of a bunch of abandoned buildings. My mind is totally blown by how historically significant this is. This is significant. This is the base that Optimus Prime, Lieutenant Bumblebee, and their team used in their battles against Megatron, Starscream. Yeah, I don't need a history lesson. Then, doesn't matter. Just now. And now, the place doesn't look like much. Now, the humans didn't get anything of Cybertronian importance from the base. We put those things in the subterranean levels, which we never even told them about, for their own safety. We sealed those floors up tight before we left. Can we take a closer look? Without deactivating from boredom? I doubt it. Show some respect, Sideswipe. This is practically hallowed ground for Cybertronians. Yeah. Well, let's check out the old clubhouse. All right, let's rev up and roll out. <laughs> Stay alert in case any defense systems we installed are still running. Humans wouldn't have triggered them. We attuned the defenses only to bots. Ugh, those defenses got quite a workout this one time we were attacked by Decepticons. <laughs> I remember hiding in a pile of scrap armor on a lower level and surprising two of them when they came by. Man, lots of great hiding places down there. Oh, 
And that time, Bulkhead challenged me to arm wrestle. <laughs> we nearly destroyed two floors of the base. Ah, good times. You should consider writing a memoir of those days, sir. Well, I did keep a hollow diary back when I was younger, but I decided it was silly and gave it up. Anyway, the artifacts still in this base should be preserved for future generations. Actually, now that I think about it, this whole planet is littered with remnants of Cybertronian battles and adventures. Without Decepticons to face, maybe our next mission should be collecting those. I bet we could find some historically important bird that place where I stared down that cat that one time. Uh, B? Is that supposed to be part of the base? That doesn't look familiar. Let's give it a visual recon. What was that? One of your security measures. The containment field encloses us in a small area. We're penned in. Too tight to maneuver. Field down. This is what history gets you. A whole lot of trouble. Now! The drones are the second component of this security measure. The field bunched us together to made us easy targets. That does not feel pleasant! Lieutenant, why don't your defense systems recognize you, or us as Autobots? They were coded to recognize allies. Ugh. But Decepticons captured one of our team and used him to gain access to the base! So we removed those codes! Slipstream, Jetstorm, assist us! Our pleasure, Master! Okay, that made this tour stop a little more fun. Bumblebee to fix it. We're in proximity to an unknown Cybertronian device. Can you scan it? I can, Lieutenant. The device is inexpensive. Corrosive! Explosive! But its construction is unusual. It appears cobble 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 cobble. They're assembled from various Cybertronian parts. I'm unable to determine how powerful the bomb is. Study its detonation mechanism, fix it. Find us a way to turn it off. Bumblebee out. We could just dig it up and destroy it, sir. Uh, that could set off the explosive. And we just don't know. I mean, it could be powerful enough to destroy the base and that active military installation by the mountains. So we simply remain here while Fixit conducts his research? No. Whoever set this bomb may still be around. Drift, Slipstream, and Jetstorm, search that way. Grimlock and Strongarm, head that direction. Sideswipe, with me. This map better be right. I don't want to be wasting my time. Considering what you did to that Decepticon to force him to give you the map, I doubt he'd play any tricks on <gasps> Ow! Why'd you stop so... Oh. Come on! Form up! You and the others want our protection from whatever you're running from? <laughs> Come on then, if you dare. Okay, that's new. If I remember my history correctly, um, didn't we get rid of all the Decepticons that were on Earth? Ah, uh, these must be stragglers or cons who came to Earth after we sent the Alchemor back to Cybertron. You Autobots can't stop me. <clears throat> This is the job where Paravon makes his name as a relic hunter! You ever see a Minicon give off energy like that? No. And it looks like he's powering up this host to some degree. Stay clear while I call for backup. Backup? We're not exactly dealing with Megatronus here. Oh, I assure you, I am to be reckoned with. <laughs> Huh? Autobots, requesting immediate backup in my position. <laughs> Call anyone you like. I won't be denied. Autobots, requesting immediate backup in my position. What is it? 
a call from the lieutenant, but it was garbled and full of static. Strong arm to drift. Did you receive that last call from Bumblebee? We did, though we could not understand it. I assume he was simply checking on our status. Yeah, that's probably right. Okay, strong arm out. Everything's fine. Let's just keep going. When you say everything's fine, do you mean you know everything's fine or you hope everything's fine? Grimlock, don't move. Okie doke. You may have stepped on a mine. Maybe another of these old defense mechanisms. If you take your foot off it, it could... The next word out of your mouth better be tickle! Students! We hear and obey, Master. What's in this space is mine by right of salvage. Do you hear me? step on a defense mechanism for the base, only one bot will know how to deactivate it. Strong arm to Bumblebee. Come in. Come in for squad's sake! Must be more of that weird interference. I'll go find him. You stay here. Like I'm gonna go anywhere! We can't waste time finishing them. This place could be crawling with Autobots trying to keep me from my triumph. I wanted more of a cushion for us to get to safety, but now there's no choice. I'm accelerating the bomb's countdown. We need to get to the command center. It'll be shielded and will protect us from the blast. You're just gonna let the bomb wipe out these Autobots? The blast will unearth the base's lower levels, and these fools' destruction will be a happy bonus. Not to mention an impressive accomplishment for me. I didn't sign on to end the lives of others. What kind of scavenger are you, Buzzstrike? We take what we want, and if any bot gets in our way, that's their problem. Now come on! I'm gonna show you some history. It's important and fun. Yuck. Uh, uh, Looks like B and the gang will wake up in a sec. And I know Zot's about defusing bombs. I'm better off seeing if I can drag those slag heads back here so they can defuse it. Soulless Prime. <laughs> Lieutenant! The bomb! You need to see this! What now? Fix it. The bomb is about to blow. Do you have a plan to defuse it? Fix it. Scrap. Lieutenant, what can we do? Only one thing I can think of. What a find. And it's still operational. I'm going to be known all over the galaxy. Yeah, as a burnt circuit. 
What? Am I supposed to be impressed, Autobot? I already defeated you once. You got lucky. You won't this time. I've got him cornered! I'm running, Bumble! Ah! Yes! All hail Paramount! Slayer of Autobots! If my team is gone, the least I can do is make sure you don't get what you want. Bus strike! Do something! <laughs> Not up for a rematch? <laughs> Later, Shorty. They're gonna be after me in half a picosec. Where can I... History. Perfect timing, sir. The field contained the explosion completely. <sighs> All right, let's wrap this up before that Decepticon actually blows up something important, like a crucial artifact or us. Sideswipe, come in. Sideswipe. Drift, you and your students find him. Strongarm and I will- Actually, sir, Grimlock could use your help. As in, immediately. <sighs> How many levels does this pathetic base have? Hey, show some respect! Don't you know this base is historically significant? Okay, freaky. You can keep the weapon we found, Autobot, if you let us walk out of here. How about if I keep the weapon and take you down? Because that's the only way this ends. While you can be, I can't be saved, but at least I won't take anyone with me. We didn't set any mines. This is just an old armor buffer ratchet throughout. See? I, uh, I figured it was something like that. Come on, we have to get back to the team. Uh, Strongarm? Hey, you're not all blown up. Huh? Oh, oh, the bomb. No, everyone's okay. Where's the Decepticon? I don't know. He had me. Why didn't he finish me off? And why didn't he take this? Defeated you. His teammates were closing in. I barely escaped and brought you back here to our skimmer. Where is the weapon we found? You didn't take the weapon? There wasn't time. Fine. But we say nothing to the others. I'm going to be a great relic hunter, and I won't have them laughing at me. Understood?
So you found those lower level hiding spots I told you about, huh? I guess history came in handy after all. Well, maybe a little. Bumblebee to fix it. Can you read me? Clear as a smell. Gel. Bell, Lieutenant. Well, it's good to hear your voice again, fix it. Are you reading any Decepticon signals in our area? Negative. The coast is sheer. Steer. Very good, fix it. We'll get back to you. Speaking of history, that reminds me. I found this while I was hiding. Oh, uh, yeah, you better just give that to me, Sideswipe. It's a historical artifact that could be delicate. <laughs> B, is this you? Are you, are you waving your leg for help? Sideswipe, that's my diary, okay? And exercise videos, they were very popular on Earth in those days. I thought maybe I'd make one for Cybertronians. Most undignified, but highly amusing. Sideswipe, give it. Seriously, give it. <laughs> What's the matter? Not so crazy about history now, are you? Thunderhoof, you know. It's a 1953 Finkelman Frosty Boy! This training exercise has to be as realistic as possible, Denny Clay. Does it? Get him, Swipes! mention it. I mean, I will. Probably twice a day for the next couple of weeks. What is it? Decepticons? Wait! Stand down! It was just an Enterprise! Extra fries! Exercise! The training drone kind of went haywire. It was all bzzz, bzzz, and Strongarm was like, eh, and then Sideswipe kicked its head clean off. I did not go, eh. But the important thing is that with this exercise, I finally collected enough data to complete my Pazerquat. Well, it's about time. Um, what's that? Pazerquat stands for Preliminary Assessment of Skills, Efficiency, and Readiness for Qualifying Active Teammates. You've been keeping score on us? Why, yes. I've been tracking each team member's performance in training exercises, as well as actual mish, mish, missions, and combining that data into one easy-to-understand number. For example, Drift has a score of 100. As it should be. Out of a possible 120. Lieutenant Bumblebee scores a 106. Sideswipe a 95. That's like 94 points higher than I've gotten on any test ever. Grimlock received a 93. <gasps> That's like... 
257 points higher than I've gotten on any test ever. And finally, strong arm. Look, I just want to be clear. No one should feel bad about not measuring up to my score. I mean, given the time I've put into studying procedure and tactics, it's only natural that I should score the highest. Strong arm scored an 89. I'm, I'm sorry, could, could you repeat that? I think my audio receptors are glitching. Yes, your combined skill and efficiency rating is 89. Is this about that last exercise? Because that doesn't count. The drone malfunctioned. Strong arm. No bot is in competition with any bot but ourselves. Although I totally smoked you! Woo! It's all right, Lieutenant. I'm not bothered or upset. 89 is still a good score. No, a great score. It just means next time we get results, you'll be amazed by my staggering improvement. She's taking all the fun out of this. Is that it? What about our scores? Yeah. Aren't we qualified active teammates? I'm sorry, but these are Cybertronian performance metrics. I can't quantify any human contribution to the team. What? We have more important things to do than play games with numbers. There is still a dangerous Decepticon scavenger on the loose. Fix it. Any luck scanning for Paralon or Buzz Strike? Negative, sir. Then we'll have to go to the scenes of every Cybertronian conflict or sighting on Earth since Autobots first arrived here. Bring up a map charting those locations. <laughs> Uh, maybe we should split up? Yes, absolutely. I volunteer to solo investigate the nearest point of contact and improve my score. But, uh, mostly to investigate. Uh, uh, uh. Only verifiable first-hand evaluations count, not reports from solo missions. Then I'll take Fixit with me, as an observer. Huh, <laughs> I don't think so. Fixit is way too important here in the command center. Dad and I can cover for Fixit. We pretty much know the ropes around here. We are skilled and efficient teammates. Despite what some may think? Oh, I don't like it. But we'll try it. For one mission only. Yeah! Mount St. Hillary! Isn't this exciting? We're about to set foot inside the very first Autobot base on Earth. So much history! It seems unlikely that our scavenger would strike here. Anything of value would have been carted off years ago. Maybe, but it's pretty far from any city. I bet hardly anyone ever comes up. Whoa! Ugh. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting? What's interesting? What did I do? But why would anyone want to live on the side of a dormant volcano? Careful! There are humans up ahead. I think you'll agree Star Visitor Estates is a lovely place to start a family. And anything you may have heard about alien robots and secret volcano bases, oh <laughs> shoot, no. We like to think of that as quirky local character. Imagine the conversations you'll have at your dinner parties. Let's do our job before more humans show up. Interesting. Again? Is that good interesting or bad interesting? <laughs> this is the first Autobot base? It seems so much more impressive in Lieutenant Bumblebee's stories. Well, let's go inside and look around. Hmm. Unless you think I should call for backup. Or maybe you think I shouldn't? Hmm. There's hardly a bolt of usable equipment left from the old base. Hang on. These tunnels look new. Someone's been digging here. Digging tunnels through a dormant volcano is very dangerous. Then we'd better find whoever is digging and put a stop to it. Do you hear that? Maybe this has something to do with the construction outside. No, those frequencies more closely match Cybertronian mining equipment. Curious that you didn't recognize that fact. Now you're just nitpicking. Cybertronian hand tools. That would indicate the user of the tools is still close by. Probably... <laughs> Fix it! <laughs> Let's 
what you get for sniffing around scatter spikes claim, yaddy bot ferments. Shut up! Come on, you mini galoot! We left the dang drill running, and we don't want it to car plumb through the mountain. I'm starting to think that this was a bad idea, Rusty. Fix-It pretty much just pulls up maps and answers the comm. We can totally do this. Probably. I wish to request a copy of Fix-It's protocols for the skill evaluations. Uh, coming right up, Drift. Dad, one copy of Fix-It's evaluation protocols. One eval proto special. You want files with that? <laughs> right. Uh, whoop! Better get that. Could be an emergency. I hope. Hello? B Team Command Center? No! This is Grimlock! I was calling the Command Center! No, Grim! This is the. Uh. Hold, please. Oops. The protocols? Yes, the protocols coming. I will call back. Uh, uh, oh. Ugh. Did somebody get the license plate of that multi-axle cargo transport? No, but we shouldn't have any trouble following its tracks. No signal. Can't come for backup from this spot. <laughs> You're not gonna mark me down for getting ambushed back there, right? I mean, you got knocked out, too. We have more important things to worry about, like the fact that the temperature has risen 15 degrees. I think we're dangerously close to a magma pocket. Right. More important. Good point. Careful. Whoever attacked us could be hiding any... <laughs> control my own movements. Fix it! I'll keep her busy while you find that drill. Or would it help my score more? Oh, forget it, just go! Sawtooth, get after that cayuse and don't let him touch that drill no matter what! Ah! Oh! They said for centuries that Scatter Spike would never hit a big strike. Uh, I finally uh, signed on with a crew that knows uh, where the good uh, stuff is buried. No fancy uh, armor law buddy's gonna take it from me. What good stuff? The base is empty. There's nothing left. Uh, uh, I know how tricky you bots can be. Maybe there's some secret vault way down deep, chock full of tech, and it's mine. Uh, 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 Cadet Strongarm, I believe this machine is drilling directly into a magma pocket. If the mountain erupts, it will destroy the human colony below and endanger the entire region. Ugh, then shut it down, fix it. Ugh. And that's a great order. Make sure I get points for that. You are under arrest for aiding and abetting a Decepticon. You will be placed in stasis and return to Cybertron for tribunal. No, you can't take me back there. I'm never going back. Give up, Scatter Spike. You've lost.
was a brilliant defensive move on your part. Each quill does something different, you galoot! How could I know you turn magnetic? Whoa. Now I'm going to show you something that's really out of this world. <laughs> I'm so glad Fix-It isn't here. Please! I don't want to hurt anybody. Just let Scatterspike get what she wants so the other Minicons and I can leave Earth. Other Minicons? How many are you? If you're in trouble... Oh, scrap! What's happening? This whole mountain will explode unless we shut off that drill! The controls are dead! Ah! Ah, we need something stronger! How about this? I'm getting a comm signal here. Fix it to command center. We need every available Autobot to these coordinates. Roger that, fix it. We'll, uh... Ground bridge! Ground bridge. The team to you right away. Setting up the routes. Linking ground bridge controls to command console. B-team, prepare for emergency ground bridge to Mount St. Hillary. Ready! Activating ground bridge. Did Mount St. Whoever always look just like the scrapyard? Sorry, everybody. We'll, we'll have this sorted out in a minute. I promise. But if you make a down payment now, you can lock in an otherworldly rate. Uh -huh. huh? Oh, well, probably just a little construction noise. <laughs> now, as I was saying, you can lock in. I man, you put me down. You steaming pile of servos! Ugh. Perfect time. Oh, no, you don't. Nothing to worry about, folks. Just one of our construction crew's exoskeleton power loaders malfunctioning. We'll have her shut down in a gym. We can't wait for your friends. We must stop this. If we can. You're right. Somehow we need to release the pressure in the magma chamber beneath us slowly, just a little at a time. We can't do that in here. The floor is already too weak. We need to get to the surface. Sweet, soulless prime. Fix it. Can you hear me? I'm pursuing Scatter Spike back to the Autobot base. Oh, strong arm. Am I glad to fear flu? It's near glue. You hear you? We're trapped in the drill chamber, and the volcano was about to blow. Okay, give me a minute. Hey, burn it. Okay, fix it. Where do you need me? I'm sending you a series of coordinates. You need to release the pressure at each location by making a small hole at least four meters deep. Four meters! Got it! It took so long to cut through to the two of you. We're just glad to be out. Aren't we, Sawtooth? Sawtooth? Gone. Must have found another tunnel out. Scatter Spike! 
I suppose losing them will wreck my score even more. I'd say the good you accomplished today outweighs the small setback. I can't help but notice you've come back empty-handed. It weren't my fault, Claw Trap. This here worthless minicon slag pal dragged me out of there before I could make my big strike. <laughs> Don't worry, my friend. This planet holds far greater treasures. All ripe for the taking. What really happened? An Autobot and another Minicon shut down our operation. But they saved our lives, Aerobolt. That Decepticon fool nearly blew up the mountain and us with it. We need them for a little while longer, Sawtooth. At least until we get off of Earth. But this Minicon I met today? It seemed like he and his friends might help us. They could be powerful allies for our kind. No. We can't trust any bots. Not with who was chasing us. We have to trust some bot someday, Aerobolt. If we truly want to be free. We don't know how many there are, or what sort of tech they may have already found. And their minicons appear to have the ability to take over our motor functions. Calling for backup was the right thing, Bumblebee. I'll be there as soon as I can. Optimus Prime, out. Uh, B, we just wanted to say again how, how sorry we are about the whole ground bridge deal. Stop. You don't have to say another word about it. Oh, thanks, B. You're the best. Because you two aren't allowed to look at another piece of Cybertronian tech until you pass a Fix-It-approved training course. Strongarm, I wanted to let you know that due to your exceptional performance today, I've raised your Pacer Quad score by 1.5 points. Seriously? Saving you, a mountain, and an entire human colony is only worth a point and a half? Thanks, Sideswipe, but I'm over it. Numbers don't matter. Only results. That is a very mature attitude. For someone I still beat by four and a half points! Woo! Very funny. Fix it. Since you couldn't give yourself a Pazer Quad score, I prepared an evaluation for you. Really? Ooh, what did I get? I think it's best to keep the results secret. I wouldn't want you to have a crisis of confidence. Can't you give me a hint? Is it higher than 90? Oh, higher than 80. Oh, come on, it has to be above 70. Call me! You are now patched in with the rest of the team, Lieutenant. Hello? Is this thing on? B, can you hear me? I know we're checking locations where these Decepticon scavengers might go to find old Cybertronian relics, but I'm all by myself on this mountain, and I don't think there's anything here for these scavengers to, you know, scavenge. We have to visit every site of Cybertronian activity on Earth, Grimlock. Haven't there been hundreds of those, sir? At least. We don't want these cons getting their hands on some ancient weapon or bomb that's been lying around. Fix it. We have initialized the Decepticon activity beacon you devised. Excellent. I'm receiving your sig 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 signal. Simply plant the beacon in the ground, and I will ground bridge you to the next location to repeat the process. Ah, uh, I'm gonna be rusty and obsolete by the time we finish this. Fix it. Any word on Optimus's arrival? We could use the help. No word yet, Lieutenant. Hey, B? How come you only gave me one of these beacon thingies? Given this morning's incident, Grim, I thought it best to restrict you to one mission, where any damage might be limited. But you know what happened this morning was an accident. I said I was sorry. And I appreciate that, but there have been a lot of sorries lately, so let's just take it one mission at a time for now, okay? Be careful out there. Bumblebee out. You just got done saying we need all the help we can get. 
but he sticks me out of the way and says I can't go anywhere. Not cool, B! Not cool, B! It was a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm not allowed to make one stupid mistake! Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Good punch, my friend. The next ball that tries to attack you will surely sink twice. Won't you come inside and have one of my pretzels? I sell them in the village. Come! Inside is much better than out here in the cold. Especially if it's all these walls assaulting you. <laughs> come. Okay. Two stupid mistakes. from is none of my business, but I would like to know your name. It's Grimlock. I mean, it would be, if I was real. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> yes. This isn't weird for you? <laughs> Even a little bit? I overheard part of your conversation before you punched my home. <laughs> I know you meant no harm. I'm sorry. I just get so frustrated. What exactly is frustrating you? Then my boss totally overreacts every time I make a teeny mistake. Like this morning, I was helping some friends with a job and I started my part just a little early. And messed things up just a smidge. A smidge! Hmm. Are you sure the problem isn't that maybe you need to learn patience? I guess maybe I do rush in without thinking sometimes. Lots of times. Lots and lots of times. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Okay, patience. Can you teach me? Like really, really fast. <laughs> I can teach you. But first, you can help me make some pretzels. But I want to learn patience right now. It's really important. So is making pretzels? Now you try. Remember, the dough wants to be a pretzel. I think I did that backwards. <laughs> Try again. Stop complaining and do your part, Thermidor, and be quick about it. I'm no swabby, you scallywag! Just because you stole me ship, it don't make you coppin'! You want to see power, Claw Trap? I'll show you power. <laughs> huh. How's everything going there, Fix-It? Not too badly, Lieutenant. Denny and Russell are just about finished weaning, cleaning, cleaning up Grimlock's little mess. The scrapyard should be 100% in no time. Strike that. Uh, I better check in with Grim. Patch me in, will you, Fix-It? Right away. Grimlock, what's your... Can't talk. Making pretzels with Brother Gunter. Wait, he's making what with who? The 
This one looks like a snake to con swallowed a bag of ball bearings. I don't even know how that one got on fire. <laughs> I was wondering that myself. I'm sorry, Brother Gunter. I just don't think I'll ever get this right. Friend Grimlock, do you really think I got this right on my first attempt? Or my second? Or my hundredth? Of course not. But I stayed with my task. I stayed... Patient. Yes, because when you do, what you can achieve is... Amazing. Either that was a very crunchy pretzel, or something is not right. It felt like it came from the catacombs. Just grab whatever it is you came for and get out of here! Shut your oil hole, Triceratops! The others said they ran into bots that wanted to capture them. I am not getting captured. For this mission, I be the captain, ye be the mate. Don't be forgetting it again. <laughs> there it be. What is it? Claw Trap didn't know, but it registered great power on our scanning instruments. And I hope they're right, because I'm going to use it to take my ship back from their double dealer. Decepticons. Brother Gunter, go back up! Grimlock, wait! No one comes to this chamber because it is unstable! And if it No time! Get to safety! Let me handle this! Now that I have retrieved my tools from upstairs, I am giving you both one chance to leave. Brother Gunter, get out of here! Do not worry, my friend. I am more than capable of protecting my home from the likes of simple burglars. Even unusual looking ones. Ye be brave, but ye stand between me and my treasure. <sighs> Let's make sure this squishy never stands again. Now, you poor excuse for a bilge pump! Presented you with this prize, so I am. <laughs> After I practice a little more with it. <clears throat> Hit him where it hurts, team! Let's wrap this up fast! Huh? 
of a head start, so we should be able to. Is everyone all right, Grimlock? <gasps> Robots in disguise, Grimlock. Robots in disguise. Do not be frustrated with Grimlock. I will tell no one that I have seen you. Brother Gunter's cool, B. We can trust him. How can you be so sure? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, back to business. Let's rev up and roll out! Arya rushed into attack that Decepticon. You tried to tell me the room was unstable. <laughs> Never think about the pretzels you have already baked, Grimlock. Only think of the next one. Time to ride, Grimlock! Optics on our target, two o'clock and down. Come on, team. We've got some ground to make up. Shouldn't we wait for Grimlock? We can't risk the con getting away. Grim will catch up. Company coming. Ah! Thermidor to claw trap. Come in, you mutinous dog. A poor loser's just a loser, Thermidor. Send me a ground bridge portal! I got treasure in me drunk and Autobots on me bumper! I would, but your ground bridge on your ship shorted out. We're working on fixing it. This ship is the biggest piece of junk in the galaxy. I'm surprised we've been able to keep the comp- Claw trap! Claw trap! I think we'd be on our own. Not for long! Bumblebee, hold back! I fought those guys! I can help! <sighs> Be quick, but don't hurry. Be quick, but don't hurry. Get off me now, you garbage bars! I am unharmed. Continue pursuit. Can we skip our usual I have this, no I have this argument and just work together for once? Sounds like a plan. Does this mean we're growing up? Meet you in the middle. Let's go back to arguing. Yeah, why mess with a proven formula? I can't shake about this pass. Try getting off the pass. But maybe if I give him something else to think about. You're going down, Decepticon. I don't think so, Autobot. In fact, if you take one step closer, it's gonna be a whole lot of squishies going down. Huh? Just gonna make it worse for yourself, Decepticon. Oh, you're concerned for me be touching, so it is. No B, don't rush in. Wait for me. We'll take him together. What are you doing? 
doing? You've won! No one else needs to get hurt! That Autobot has partners, remember? And they'll be after me soon enough. Unless they're busy with a different problem. <laughs> Any other objections? Total loss. The criminals got away, but we saved the artifact. I'm not so sure that Minicon is a bad bot, B. He wasn't on our side, but he didn't seem crazy about that Decepticon either. I hope you're right, but let's not jump to any conclusions. That Minicon was very powerful. We can't afford to let our guard down. Nice work, Lieutenant. Don't look at me. This was all Grimlock. Yeah? Walk us through it, big guy. How did you single-handedly beat those scavengers? I guess I finally learned some patience. I'd say you learned it pretty well. What, is there some kind of secret patience academy up here? Something like that. Oh, and how did that one catch on fire? I was wondering that myself. Don't worry about it. The last pretzel has already been baked. Think only about the next one. to be a pretzel. Uh, I think I did that backwards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, try try again. again.
How was Egypt? Our mission was a success. A souvenir from the pyramids. Ah, this is indeed the relic, flick, 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 relic the satellite imagery located. It had to be dug from the sand, of which there was a great deal. Where do you want this thing, Danny? Over here? Oh. Over here! Oh. Caution, please. We have yet to identify the relic and its capabilities. Sorry. Students, I require clean grease for my pistons. Yes, Master. Understood. Yeah, I have some industrial grease back in the workshop. Oh, and Grim, just put the relic down for now. Sorry. Again. What is this thing, Fix It? It appears to be an HEP generator. High energy pulse generators produce short, intense energy bursts that can disrupt, if not destroy, a bot's neural nets. This device could fry your brains? Oh, we're perfectly safe, as long as the generator is not activated. <laughs> Oh, dear. Was it me? Slipstream, jet storm, seat cover. We went through a lot of trouble recovering that generator. You'd rather have had your brain fried? Question, how many minicons does it take to disarm a high energy pulse generator? Answer, kazap! <laughs> we heard that! It was most insulting! Directing your jokes toward the three of us grows tiresome. Oh, you little guys are so cute when you get offended! Ow! Ow! Jetstorm. Ow! 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 You should tune up your motor mouth before someone else does it for you. <laughs> oh, come on, fix it! I was just busting your bearings like always! A little teasing they can take but they asked you to stop and you kept on going. Yeah, you didn't just cross the line this time. You blew it up with a bunker buster tactical explosive and turned the surrounding area into an uninhabitable, irradiated wasteland. I think you better apologize to the Minicon Sideswipe. Boy, some bots need to upgrade their humor modules. What could there possibly be to salvage here? Just make sure this is the uncrewed automated vessel we've been tracking. Then shut down the engines once we reach our coordinates. <sighs> we don't know what we're looking for! Whatever it is, it's much more powerful than anything we've found yet. If I be brave in the briny deep, I'll be needing a power boost. Ugh! I'll help, I'll help! You don't have to get grabby. Ready I am! Let's hitch it up and get going! I'm joining you. So you won't get any bright ideas about making off with our loot. Arrowbolt, power me up! What? I'm not good enough for you? You might want to remember you signed on to my crew. That means you work for me. Unless you'd rather I sell you to whatever it is you're running from. I thought you'd see it my way. Engine stopped. We've reached the coordinates. Keep an eye on our crew. I don't want any mutinies. Dive and start digging. Every moment we remain on this planet, we are in greater danger. When do we make our move? When the time is right.
fix it. Any sign of Optimus approaching Earth on long-range scanners? Negative, sir. I'm sure he's on his way. Oh, I hope so. I can't shake the feeling there's something bigger going on with these strange minicons we've encountered. Lieutenant? About those minicons, I was thinking... Uh-oh, Strongarm was thinking. This won't end well. Haven't you made enough enemies for one day? We're past all that, right, buddy bot? <laughs> you never apologized. Ugh, I'm sorry, or whatever. I guess, okay? Huh. You think the shorties are gonna ignore me forever? Not if you give them a proper apology. With sincerity. They're coming back. They might need help. I don't know exactly what it is, but I do believe we hit the mother load. Here, mine! No, it'd be mine! You want an up-close look? I'm happy to give it to you. Plenty of time for bowing and scraping. Now, where are my many cons? Starscream? The mini cons have been running from you? You want to know where they are, huh? Maybe we can make a deal. What is it you're so eager to... <gasps> it can't be! The Dark Star Saber. The what? It was forged by Megatron. How appropriate. With the Minicons, I can take the revenge I seek on my old master. But with this as well, I can conquer galaxies. Hmm. I'm not powered up completely. <laughs> But it will do for now. <laughs> the Saber resists me. And so do you. You wanted a deal. Tell me where to find the Minicons. Or I will scatter you into the ocean one screw at a time. Y you're too late! Those little traitors have abandoned ship! <laughs> Forget the miniguns. With a sword like that, you got all the power you need. Just pay us. Get on with the conquering you want to do. Not yet. I still have need of your services. And there's no such thing as too much power. Not as long as there's more to be had. Rough Edge, bring my ship down from orbit and set up the equipment. Scan for the minicons' energy signatures. They can't be far. Dudes, so sorry. Not gonna happen again. Hey, I'm sorry, but you know, it was funny. Sideswipe? What are you doing? B thinks I should apologize to fix it, Jetstorm, and Slipstream, which I did, by the way, but no, it has to be a proper apology. I saw this movie once where someone apologized with flowers and a poem. It almost seemed as if the Minicons were reluctant to assist those Decepticons they're allied with. I sensed that when the Minicon took control of me. There was also an incredible surge of power just before I lost control of my motor functions. There is a symbiosis between the Minicon and its host. The host is powered up, but we have no data as to how this surge occurs or under what parameters. Strong as it was, why did it feel like the surge wasn't complete? Like the Minicon was holding back? Could be all kinds of reasons, Lieutenant. I mean, who knows what the Minicon's true agenda is? Find 
the Cybertronian technology our sensors detected here. Let's do it and modify our ship quickly. We need this planet in our rear scanners. I'll keep an eye out for the scavengers. I thought Sideswipe was our friend. That he accepted us as part of the team. What do you expect from a bot with no manners? We must notify our master. Surely we can handle one intruder. <laughs> I'd like to see Sideswipe triumph so efficiently. You were saying something about triumph, Slipstream? are good, Decepticons are bad, I'm so very sorry that I made you angry. I couldn't think of anything that rhymes with bad. What? Has Sideswipe sustained injury to his cranial casing? We have multiple trespassers on the property! Denny, Russell, take cover. Team, let's rev up and roll out! You? What is it all of you are after? And are those scavengers with you? Huh? Not again. Careful, Grim! We're both dinos, I don't know. But listen, Bashbreaker, I don't think the big dino is an enemy. Lieutenant Bumblebee, status report. If you can hear me, please respond. Go! Go! Uh. 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 
Just came to tell you, if you need me, I'll be vacationing on Alpha Centauri. Triceratop, ah! uh. wait! Please, we only came for the high-energy pulse generator we detected. You want the... I'm afraid it was destroyed. Then there is nothing for us here. Autobots, give chase! <sighs> Students, remain with Fixit in case our enemies return. I suggest we retreat to the command center before... Something like that happens! <laughs> Many come. Just what we were looking for. Time to get paid. <sighs> well, on the bright side, we got more hands-on experience with this new breed of minis. Fix it. Looks like we lost them. Any track on their energy signatures? Fix it. Come in, fix it. Back to base. I have a bad feeling about this. There is no need to push. We are not resist this, this. This, this isn't possible. Starscream? Your configuration does not match the visual references in my database. Have you been working out? Just like you ordered, Starscream. I'm curious. Where did you capture them, Shadelock? At the lost and found depository? You brought me the wrong minicons! But we tracked their energy signatures to the- Ah, I believe I understand the confusion. You see, other minicons departed Denny Clay's scrapyard just before- Denny Clay? Is he your superior officer? <laughs> oh no, that would be Lieutenant Bumble, 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 this just gets better and better. Fix it! Slipstream! Jet store! They're gone. All, all three of them! Decepticons took them, B. They came through a ground bridge just after you left. That means the Minicons could be anywhere. I didn't even get a chance to apologize to them. Or figure out how to apologize. You'll still have your chance. <laughs> Hello, Bumblebee. Nice to see me, isn't it? Starscream? But we thought you were- Yes, I'm sure you did. Your minicons are with me. And they're functional. For now. Release them. Or I shall... What do you want? You. Lay down your weapon and surrender to me. Or your minicons will pay the price. No! I can't let the Minicons suffer. Oh, so noble. They'll sing songs about you when you're gone, Bumblebee. Come now. This isn't over. Track B signal! Oh, yeah. Scrud! If my students and Fixit are harmed, 
There is no place in the galaxy where Starscream will be safe from me. I'm not waiting around for that to happen. I'm going after them. Wait. This isn't some average con we're dealing with. It's Starscream. The four of us aren't experienced enough or equipped to... What now? Contact coming in by air. Might be Starscream looking to finish the job. On guard, team. Previously on Robots in Disguise. I do believe we hit the mother load. <laughs> Starscream? Where are my many cons? Don't let them leap into your hands! It's how they take control! We only came for the high energy pulse generator we detected. I'm afraid it was destroyed. Then there is nothing for us here. Time to get paid. You brought me the wrong mini cons! Hello, Bumblebee. Starscream? What do you want? You. This isn't over. Contact coming in by air! I think we just got a lot better equipped. Is it possible, Bumblebee, that my luck has finally turned? I came to Earth merely to reclaim my property, but to find the Dark Star Saber and to have you at my mercy? It's an embarrassment of good fortune. The Minicons you captured from my team, Starscream. Where are they? The Minicons, as well as you, make excellent insurance against any Autobot friends you may have lurking about trying to stop me. <laughs> Bumblebee thinks he still has a chance. Starscream must have jamming gear because we can't find jets, slips, bumblebees, or fix its energy signatures. Starscream. He is harder to eliminate than Servo Rust. I wish I had been able to respond earlier to Bumblebee's call for assistance. You're here now, that's all that matters. And I relinquish command of this unit to a superior officer. Enough talk. Every moment my students remain in Starscream's clutches could mean their lives. And nothing better happen to them or fix it before I can really apologize. The good news is, thanks to Fix It's training course, Russell and I know how to read the scanners. Pretty much. We think Starscream had to be nearby to project that hologram of himself. Excellent work, Denny and Russell. 
Sideswipe, strong arm, Grimlock, conduct your search to the north and east of the scrapyard. Drift, scour the area to the south and west. I shall see what I can from the air. Comfortable. I want to be sure you have a good seat from which to observe my ultimate triumph. Oh, is going back to your old body style supposed to make the difference this time? <laughs> oh no. After I disposed of the Predacons back at Darkmount, I simply thought it best to adopt a look as powerful as I was feeling. How did you get rid of the Predacons? And what's so important about the Scavenger's Minicons? Glad you asked. I've been waiting to recount this thrilling tale. Allow me to set the scene. I have been cruelly abandoned by my ungrateful master, Megatron. And at his fortress, Darkmount, I was confronted by revenge-crazed Predacons. Bravely, I faced them. I lured them deeper into the fortress. In an inner chamber, I found just what I'd been hoping for. Weapons hoarded by Megatron, capable of destroying even Predacons. With the Predacons vanquished, I wondered what else I might find in Darkmount. Perhaps something with which to exact revenge upon my former master for his many crimes against me. In a lab, I found seven peculiar Minicons, unlike any I'd ever seen, in experimentation tubes. Megatron's records said that the Minicons had been captured in their youth and genetically modified. These Minicons could connect to Autobots and Decepticons and provide a power surge to their new hosts. Further, they could take command of their hosts' motor functions. But Megatron had a theory, which he apparently never tested, that if all seven Minicons were to power link with a single host, that host would surge in power to a level beyond that of a prime. With such power, I could destroy Megatron for all he did to me, and then succeed where he didn't, and claim the galaxy as my own. I freed the Minicons, but they escaped. Clever little toasters. So you hired bounty hunters and tracked the Minicons to Earth? How oh, I hate this place. But on arriving here, I did find the Dark Star Saber. Though it fights me. Apparently, it thinks I'm not totally worthy of it. Shocking. But with you off the board and your teammates helpless without your leadership, I can resume my search for the Minicons. Prepare to power link me with all seven Minicons. Scanners activated. Now, oh, where are you, my little doomsday devices? Can't you go any faster? Hey, don't take it out on me because you haven't apologized to Jet Slip and fix it. We'll find them, and Bumblebee. We just... Ah! Strong arc to all Autobots. Immediate backup to our position. Repeat, immediate. You, you minicons, are under arrest for taking control of a law officer and a punk! Windstrike, Sawtooth, do not release these two until... Are we all friends now, or...? Attack! Whoa! Let it be a no! I know you guys aren't in control! I don't want to hurt you! We don't want to hurt you! We 
should keep control of the Autobots and the Dinobot Aerobolt. Buzz Strike's right. If we run into Starscream again, we'd be better able to deal with him. We do not wish to control any creature longer than is necessary for him. <sighs> Regroup and attack! Wait. I recognize you. From my youth, before we were captured by Megatron. You are Optimus Prime. We mean you no harm. I'd like to do him a little harm. Hostilities between us are ended. I apologize for our aggression. Since we awoke, we have trusted no one. I still don't trust anyone. I know you are being pursued by Starscream, but little else. Tell me your story. Jetstorm, keep trying. We must escape and contribute to this fight. Indeed, Slipstream. We do not wish to hear any more remarks about our value or ability from... Sideswipe. You two are as stubborn as your sensei. You need to stop and drink. Think. Think. We can't go through Starscream's force field. Perhaps we might go around it? Wall is reinforced. As is the floor. Oh, how about up? There, that grate should lead to a cooling duct one of us might fit through. The only question is how we're going to reach... Ow! I do not recall being consulted on this course of... You may have overestimated the strength of... Oh, my next stabilizers. I shall return soon with the means to free you. I hope no harm befalls him. <sighs> Could you maybe hope from down on the ground? After we escaped Starscream at Darkmount, we enlisted with the Decepticon scavengers as a means of getting off Cybertron. If we'd known they were heading for Earth, the second most frequented planet for Cybertronians, we never would have come. Immediately on arriving, we began trying to convince our hosts to leave even as we searched for a way to escape the scavengers and strike out on our own. We stole their suborbital transport, but it ran out of fuel. That's when we found you, and you botjacked us! About that. When you took us over, I could tell you gave me a surge, but it also felt like, I don't know, there could have been more power, like you were holding back. This is true. Unless the surge is mutually agreed upon and totally committed to by both sides, full power is not shared. Surely there is no Autobot more worthy of sharing our energies than you, Optimus Prime. Will you accept the surge I can provide? I am not certain. It will only work if you trust me. Very well. Let us try. Aerobolt. It is understandable. Trust must be proven, not merely spoken. Perhaps we should avoid surge pairings between Autobots and Minicons for the time being. Good! We can focus on more important things, like finding the Minicons. Yes, we must delay no further. They are correct. We must locate our friends. Once that is accomplished, we will help you find a home where you will never be bothered again. We appreciate your assistance. Until then, please stay with us so we may protect you, should Starscream attack. We can protect ourselves, Optimus. I meant no disrespect. We shall protect each other. I don't feel right about this. You never feel right. And I'm usually correct. The Minicon's energy signatures are so odd. Perhaps they've been trying to attach to new hosts. 
happened. Perhaps this energy fluctuation can scramble nearby equipment left unshielded, such as comms. What was that? Probably Earth rodents. No, this sector's lousy with them. I think they're kind of cute personally, but... What is so funny? <laughs> well, you said you weren't getting full power from the Dark Star Saber. How big a failure do you have to be for an evil sword to find you unworthy? <laughs> uh, enjoy your good laugh now, Bumblebee. Things won't seem so amusing to you when the galaxy is under my command. You'll find a way to mess this up, Starscream. It's the only thing you've ever been good at. Failing. You're just like Megatron. Belittling me. Diminishing me. Not taking you seriously. <sighs> Nothing. But you're going to take me seriously, Bumblebee. You and Megatron. Yeah, good luck with that. <sighs> Why are we risking ourselves for these Autobots? Let them worry about their own allies! Optimus Prime and his friends seem to have good intentions toward us. Besides, I'd rather see Starscream defeated than worry about him for the rest of our lives. We trust these Autobots just because they say we can trust them? Didn't you say you felt something when you tried to take over that Dinobot? Something that made you think he was perhaps worthy of that trust? Uh, I don't know what I felt. I'm thinking about going off on my own. Easier to travel, no one to be responsible for. Don't, please. It would be too dangerous for you, and we are all stronger together than apart. Okay, I'll stay. For now. You seem distracted, Sideswipe. It's just, I said something to the Minicons I shouldn't have, and now I feel terrible about it. Too often we forget our friends have feelings. No kidding. We'll deal with Starscream for what he did to us. But first, those minicons need to pay. Having to summon our mothership to pick us up. Humiliating. Once we find the suborbital craft those half-sized tin cans stole from us. I guess the universe was listening. We want the minicons. We'll take them by force if we have to. You four? Against all of us? This will take two seconds. Even with weapons, you cannot... <laughs> Looks like these relic hunters hunted up some decent relics. Do not take them lightly. These Decepticons may not even know what their artifacts can do. Pressure! Crushing me! Whoa! This might take a little more than two seconds. Aerobolt, what should we do? Perhaps we should attach to the Autobots, provide them with power surges. No! We do not know the full extent of the effects of such pairings. I will not stand by while others fight for us! Hmm. <laughs> 
You're not controlling me. We are more effective united than as individuals. Will you trust me and accept the surge I can provide? Go for it. chance to figure out what this one does. Bumblebee. The Minicons and all their power are mine. Finally. Finally! I've won! Previously on Robots in Disguise. You're going to take me seriously, Bumblebee. Attack! You are Optimus Prime. Hostilities between us are ended. What's so important about the Scavenger's Minicons? These Minicons could connect to Autobots and Decepticons and provide a power surge to their new hosts. I apologize, Aerobolt. Trust must be proven, not merely spoken. Megatron had a theory that if all seven Minicons were to power link with a single host, that host would surge in power to a level beyond that of a Prime. Finally, I've won! Lieutenant. After you distracted Starscream, I returned to my earlier place of imprisonment and freed the others. And now we shall free you. Starscream captured the fugitive Minicons, and we've landed. Try to find an intraship camera so we can see what he's doing with them. I'm on it, Lieutenant. Took as many as were there. 
If one of us is free, you will never have all the power you crave. What's your tone? Or I'll use another paralytic patch to freeze your voice like I did your body. Transmit power to the machinery. I want whatever I can get now. I'll have the Dark Star Saber and the Surge I'll gain by absorbing the six of you. It should be more than enough to smash anyone who ever crossed me, like Optimus Prime or Megatron. Lieutenant, what can we do? I cannot achieve the ultimate power surge! Trying to do so nearly destroyed all of us! I need them all! If Starscream gets his hands on that Minicon, it's all over. Looks like you have some valuable weapons on you. Just what I was thinking, Claw Trap. Ah! Nermidor, you fool! Don't! Who got it? Oh. Autobots, roll out! for your assistance. I thought all of you had been captured by Starscream. I was heading off on my own, but the others and I were linked psychically. I felt their terror when Starscream took them. I couldn't leave them behind. We are glad to have you with us. Can you use your psychic connection to track your comrades? This is not a setback, Bumblebee. Merely an inconvenience. So don't go thinking. <gasps> Bumblebee? <laughs> <laughs> what was your plan if you couldn't disarm me? <clears throat> Reinforcements. <laughs> We need to regroup! Come on! We need to get to the lab and the other minicons. The lab is around the next turn. Sweet Solace Prime! Starscream says hello. And that if you take one more step, we should blast these minicons to atoms.
Back off, or these minicons pay. Go ahead. Do it. <gasps> Lieutenant? They're bluffing. Starscream needs those minicons. Am I right? Take cover! Ah! Around the corner! Let's draw our opponents out to a more open environment. Why aren't they following? We will have to plan our next move very carefully. You already gave it to us, big guy. Get in there. Free the minicons and find Starscream. Stop! Hang back, little dudes. Let the big bots handle this. He still believes us less than capable. Sideswipe wrong. <laughs> Display some intelligence. Surrender immediately. to receive its full power. But I was able to access just enough for a low-level dark energon burst. Uh, we are... alive? The Autobots must have sustained the brunt of the blast. But what about... Sideswipe! 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 He sacrificed himself for us. Perhaps he really was trying to apologize to us before... Before... Sideswipe truly did value us. His teammates and friends. It's about time you realize that. Sideswipe! Um, <laughs> hello. Oh, we thought you were... Okay, it's okay. The others? Unconscious. We shall wake them. We better deal with that first. I should have stayed unconscious.
Starscream must have forced an ultimate power surge from the Minicons and absorbed them. I'll distract Big and Ugly. You get in the ship and get to his gear. Sideswipe, he'll vaporize you. <sighs> now who's not believing in a teammate? <laughs> It appears this equipment broadcasts an energy signal within a limited range. We merely activate the equipment, and if Starscream is in range, the Minicon should be extracted from his form. We shall alert Sideswipe to bring Starscream closer. to destroy a prime, Autobot. Do you really dream you can hide from me? Do it! Surge I can provide. Aerobolt. The last time we attempted it. You subconsciously held back. You were wary of my motives. But we are all in danger, and you know now we are on the same side. True. Very well. I will accept. you on my own, Optimus. But I still have six Minicons and the Dark Star Saber. And still you will not achieve your goals, Starscream. Forget our pick. Let's get out of here while we can. Autobots? Rev up and roll out! Make two fists. Huh? Why would I... Whoa! fall for the same scheme a second time. It will be your last mistake. Ah! Ah! 
What? Seriously? <laughs> Fix it! You cannot hold me, Bumblebee. Not while I can... Sorry for the things I said. An apology is no longer required, Sideswipe. Correct! You demonstrated your true feelings for us with your earlier a a a a a a actions? Russell said this was the way humans apologize. So, Grimlock helped me pick you a bouquet of foliage. Hmm. I am kind of a natural at apologizing. The Dark Star Saber and the Bounty Hunters have been secured aboard my ship, and Starscream remains catatonic. So you're ready to go back to Cybertron? Well, things must be better for you there if they gave you access to a ship. I was not on Cybertron when I received your call, Bumblebee. Nor have I been since the Primes restored me to this realm. I don't understand. The situation on Cybertron is fluid. I am working with some old friends to resolve it. That is all I can say for now. I know that answer is not satisfactory for you. But I promise to call you if we need any help. Okay. Thank you for your assistance. Thank you, all of you. I would transport you, but... That's okay. We don't want to be anywhere near Starscream. As I suspected. I hope you find the peace you deserve. Farewell. wonder if we'll ever find that peace, since we don't even have a way of getting off this planet. After Starscream's defeat, I modified your suborbital craft for space travel. Though we intend to go where we shall never be found, it is good to know we have friends we can trust if we need them. Travel safe. What's our next assignment, sir? Next? So soon? We're Autobots, Lieutenant. We're built for action, not relaxation. Well, there are still plenty of locations that need combing for dangerous artifacts and weapons. Then let's do it to it! Transmitting coordinates of the nearest site to you now. May we travel with Sideswipe? <laughs> I didn't tell him to ask. We've come a long way, sir. Yes, we have, Strongarm. And I, for one, am glad we still have a long way to go. Fix it, we'll see you back at the scrapyard. Autobots, let's rev up and roll out! Have a good mission! Oh!